flatties and globe defenders. It's critical thinking I'm in Thailand still. Soon to go home to Down Under and I did get the chance to capture the sunset, the equinox sunset and I'll be presenting an analysis of that. You can see that the Mekong River there in the background and um, it actually it's the same location as last year when um, I photographed the equinox but this time I've got a video. This is the photo from last year and I've analysed this in another video I did earlier this year and I happen to be in the same location one year later so this is the photo from this year and you can see that the sun as expected is in the very same position but that would be true for flat or globe that doesn't really matter but the most important thing is the direction of the sun which is um, towards the west as illustrated in my earlier video which is a totally impossible thing with a flat earth so there's bad news right there for the flat earth model the direction of the sun at sunset on the equinox is due west everywhere on the planet and um, before I get into the sunset I'll um, I just want to make a comment because um, Phuket Word has said when you see the undersides of the clouds lit up it's it, he has said here that it is not the undersides of clouds that get lit up wispy clouds allow the light to pass through them dense clouds do not now I did try to make a comment on that video but um, Phuket Word has um, blocked me uh, in some ways so that I can see the comments but no one else can so you can't see these comments so I'm going to make the comment here and um, I'm going to say it is the undersides of the clouds that get lit up so much this that much is so obvious that even a three-year-old can see it so let's trust our senses shall we and observe with our own eyes the obvious oh wait a minute that conflicts with the flat earth so in this case we must not trust our senses in fact let's just make up stuff to suit the narrative much easier than presenting any evidence so forget word you can silence me on your channel I still get my say so here's the uh, now I'm going to present the evidence uh, I know Phuket word never presents evidence it's just a lot of rhetoric and bollocks and um, the same old story over and over again even though he's wrong and here's the evidence of clouds being lit up from the underside and the reason why you can categorically say that the clouds are lit up from the underside here is because the Sun is supposed to be higher than the clouds in the flat earth model um, and Phuket words explanation was that the clouds are wispy and the Sun shines through them if that were the case then see these wispy clouds here which are in shadow they would not be in shadow if the Sun was higher than the clouds so this is the underside of the clouds being lit up there's another dark cloud uh, it's a wispy cloud it's in shadow because there are clouds blocking the Sun and of course these crepuscular rays here so something below the cloud level of the clouds is obstructing the Sun and even these clouds are not lit at all they're in the shade so how is that at all possible when the Sun is always on a flat earth above the clouds it's not possible flat earth is bollocks this is clearly the Sun going down over the horizon shining upwards towards the clouds and shining on them 
underneath them. And the, the sun shining through wispy clouds doesn't do it. This is evidence. This here is evidence, something that totally refutes what Phuket Word has said. So I'm going to go ahead and play my sunset video here and then come back to a little bit more analysis. Right, we're going to record this audio. It's a bit difficult. This uh, microphone is not so good and it's a bit noisy here, but we'll see how we go. So this is facing west. Uh, you can see in front of you there's a transmission tower to the left, the uh, Thai Lao Friendship Bridge in front, which is the border crossing between Thailand and Lao in this region. And the sun, it looks like the sun is sinking, but in fact we know that it is the earth that's rotating and uh, the sun maintains a constant position but the earth is rotating and it looks like the sun is sinking and it takes oh, about two minutes two minutes and 15 at this latitude to uh, from the beginning of sunset to the end and we can see that it moves to the right which is a northern hemisphere thing in the southern hemisphere it travels in the opposite direction which is indeed a big problem for the flat earth the southern hemisphere provides quite a few problems for the flat earth the most unfortunate but um, in this case there were some clouds uh, cutting off the horizon so I couldn't actually see the horizon the clouds are moving around a bit so it makes it a little bit difficult to measure the duration but we'll get on to that uh, in the next couple of still shots I've taken from the video which will manage to line up some measurements to measure that duration so a lot of noise here a bit difficult to record this I'll leave this run now So the, there were clouds in the video that were moving and um, I tried to do a duration, sunset duration analysis. It was a little bit difficult because there were clouds on the horizon, there was no hard horizon. So I've just used this transmission tower on the left and I've picked a point on the tower, found a spot where the bottom of the sun's just crossing it and that's at 13 seconds into the video and that same point on the tower and the sun's just dipping down below at approximately 2 minutes 28 so that gives a duration around about 2 minutes and 15 seconds and we did this sunset duration analysis has been done in a started with a video from Wolfie and I duplicated this analysis at a different latitude and they, they were within one second of the predicted globe model duration and in this case it's the maths already been done in the other videos I'm not going to repeat it the um, the Duration is, should be 2 minutes 15 because the latitude is 18 degrees north. And when Wolfie did his video, he was at 18 degrees south. So the uh, duration is the same because it's the same angle, one's north, one south. They're in different directions, but the angle is the same, 18 degrees from vertical. And so 2 minutes 15 
is the right number and we, we have that here 2 minutes 15 so uh, globe confirmed in two ways here the direction of the sunset the duration of the sunset and um, well, well let's make that three ways the um, the clouds the sun shining underneath the clouds so there's three ways which this is uh, really bad news for flat earth sun shining under the clouds and the sunset direction and the sunset duration so flat is that's what can i say it's flat earth is impossible